up guys it's Brian from GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you the latest version of Mac OS X Snow Leopard running in Windows 7 in a virtual machine. Now it doesn't have to be restricted to Windows 7 you could use XP, Vista, or even Linux because VMware does have a Linux version of Workstation 7. So let me go ahead and open up VMware Workstation. I'm doing this in Windows 7 Professional 64 bit. So I gave the virtual machine 2.5 gigs of RAM and both CPU cores. So I highly suggest everybody to go to the link that you see at the bottom of your screen because this explains how to do all of this because it's extremely easy to do. Anybody can do it. It doesn't even matter if you've never even used a computer before because it's so easy. All the instructions step by step are there, detailed. And then all you really need is a $30 copy of Snow Leopard, which you can pretty much buy anywhere for 30 bucks. And uh, with that being said, I'm not going to do a how-to video on how to do all of this because it's so easy. So just go to the link and it tells you exactly what to do. So let me go ahead and power it up. Okay, so what you're basically doing actually is running a... Uh, a virtual machine or excuse me a Hackintosh inside of a virtual machine so you may be wondering like oh isn't it gonna be really slow and incompatible with everything sort of speed wise it's actually really fast but, th but all of that depends on the actual speed of your computer um, there's only one con to this that I could think of and I'll explain that in a little bit so here we are at the Hackintosh bootloader um, what this actually does is it lets you boot uh, various partitions and various operating systems. Usually you could use it to, to uh, boot up your installation DVD as shown in the link in the description. So we're just going to go ahead and press enter. Uh, and here we are at the usual Apple logo. And then the spinning progress bar is right there. Now it could take anywhere from 30 seconds to maybe two minutes to boot up depending on your computer. It's taking a little bit longer than it usually does. Alright the progress spinning wheel stopped and here we are at the uh, the log on screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it full screen and we do have full resolution you could change change your resolution to whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna log on really quick. And here we are at the desktop. And that's pretty much it. You get access to all your usual applications like dashboard, here it is here. Internet does work, which is good. We have address book, one bounce on the dock and it's open iCal, two bounces and it's open. Uh, preview's open. Nothing to preview though. You can open the folders. Go to CoverFlow. Open up the stacks. use spotlight let's see what can I open let's open system preferences and there it is so it's exactly like a real Mac but it's on your PC and it's pretty darn speedy actually I was actually surprised at the performance of it after I got it installed use your resolution selection Shows up as Ethernet. Now the copy I installed of Snow Leopard was 10.6 and with the simple software updates I installed 10.6.2 and zooming in works as well. Now my CPU shows up as 4.3 gigahertz unknown so that, that was pretty entertaining at first. 
And then the amount of RAM is correct, 2.5 gigs. That's what I gave it. So let me zoom out and go to more info. And you can see that it says my processor speed is <clears throat> 30 gigahertz. And I have two cores, so it's pretty much a 60 gigahertz computer. Even though it te technically isn't, so just something interesting to look at. Um, audio works as well. And so does the internet. I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari, and here we are at the default homepage. And then since this is OS X, you can go ahead and run OS X only applications such as Tweety. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the website and download it really quick.